subject which we are trying to cover here with, regarding with the couple uh, about layoffs and uh, how people were laid off, especially women uh, during the COVID pandemic time. Mm -hmm. I think it is very interesting uh, the way we have put it together. I get to be inside and have opinions and comments on things that are happening. The most frustrating thing that was, I mean, the reality was far removed from what we were privileged enough to be away from. I think these are stories of how people have coped in different ways and how they've, everybody's come out of them sort of hopefully a little stronger, a little better, having learned something, having sort of, you know, um, survived. During the lockdown, we were still exploring ourselves. We were still trying to, you know, we were going with the flow. Mm -hmm. But after the lockdown was over, then when people were asked to start their work again, then everybody was shaking. Everybody didn't even know where to start from. Hi, this is Amina Sheikh and with me today I have Shreya, Priyanshu and Nupur who are going to talk about their upcoming web series which is of course getting all of us excited because it's something different what we are trying to bring on platform. So welcoming all the three on eTimes. Hi Sabina, Shreya. Good to talk Thank to you. Thank you for having us. Good to be so here. To begin with you Nupur, you tell us what is Unbossed all about? You know, these are stories that are set during uh, the second half of the pandemic, all five of them. I can't say much about the other stories, but I think all of them really deal with a lot of hope, with a lot of grit and determination and how to sort of deal with this. I don't think any of us have dealt with these times ever in our lives. And I think that everybody, whether you're rich or you're poor or you're somewhere in the middle, I mean, everyone has dealt with them in some way or the other either financially or emotionally or mentally, you know, I mean, everyone has coped. And I think these are stories of how people have coped in different ways and how they've, everybody's come out of them sort of hopefully a little stronger, a little better, having learned something, having sort of, you know, um, survived mm -hmm. in a way. But also uh, Shreya and Priyanshu, you guys have already done like, you know, web series and Priyanshu, you have also been a part of Rashmi Rocket and now you're working on this and Shreya, you have worked in The Family Man. So tell us your experience of working in this project. I think one is when an interesting story comes to you and especially something like this, which is relevant to today's times. And when uh, Nupur also told me that, you know, the, the, the subject which we are trying to cover here with, regarding with the couple, uh, about layoffs and uh, how people were laid off, especially women uh, during the COVID pandemic time. Mm. I think it is very interesting uh, the way we have put it together. I think it is very interesting. I wasn't supposed to say that, but why? Uh, but, can you tell about the story? I'm not telling the whole story. I'm just talk talking about the yeah. subject of our film. Yeah, is yeah, that. Yeah. And I think that was anyway mentioned. I think that yes, was yes. that is what we are trying to show. But, all in all, I think during pandemic, you anyway want to uh, tell stories like this. Yeah? And especially for a, with a platform like Amazon. And then I was told Nupur is directing. And then Shreya Dhanvantri is in the cast. So I was like, yes, I'm getting to work with Dhanvantri after very really long. Because I remember we've been chatting. And wherever we used to meet in different casting offices, anywhere here and there, we used yeah. to be like, we, and during the lockdown, if you remember, we did some online um, things together. We did performances online. But we've only worked with each other on uh, Zoom. So this was mm -hmm. the first time we physically came together to act together and it was great fun. It was a great time and I think it's a very good story which you're trying to say. Also, I could relate to the story because as a couple, if you've been in the lockdown, you've seen and you've, 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 know, you've felt all these okay. things. You know, if we go yeah. by that note, how exactly the trailer is and like that, it's quite that, you know, it shows off that, you know, how they are, you know, dealing with this pandemic and the entire situation around them. You know, yeah. also, Priyanshu, I must say that, you know, I couldn't recognize you for a minute. You know, your look in Rashmi Rocket was so different, you know, so subtle and so, you know, uh, in a very good way, I must say uh, that. And yeah, right yeah, now the neat hair and the moustache and the army guy, yeah. Hot, you look hot. <laughs> hot, no? But, but real life is this, no? I'm sorry. <laughs> hot, right? Who said that wasn't hot? Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> complimenting you. And, you know, that shows that, you know, she really actually, you know, respects your equation with her, hotness. you know, at workplace. Hotness. Hotness. <laughs> your hotness at workplace. I must say that. But Shreya, yeah, you have... No, what you're saying, you're saying something. Sorry, sorry, carry on, carry on. Shreya, but you have already, like, you know... Jokes, you can ignore us, please, Samina. 
No, no, I'm saying, Shreya, that you already have like made a benchmark kind of a thing, you know, with your roles in OTT platforms, you know, be, play, you know, when I met you for Filmfare Awards also, that time also I told you, your role as Zoya is something so interesting that, you know, it actually caught attention. So when you're, you know, working in such a serial, you know, such a series, which is quite different altogether, unpause, which is dealing with a very, you know, it's like a couple kind of a thing. How different was your experience for you? Okay, first of all, I would like to say that this is season two of a wonderful anthology that premiered last year. We are mm. doing season two of Unpaused. So this is not like, a, uh, we haven't brought it first to the audiences. There were lots of wonderful people and we're continuing the legacy that was brought forth by people before. And uh, my reason primarily, you remember, not remember, you know the, at the end credits, sometimes I say cast in order of appearance. So uh -huh. for doing this in order of appearance, our mm. Nikhil, Pranati, Nupurasthana and Priyanshu. Hmm. I mean, so <laughs> no, I'm serious. In order of appearance, this is how they came into my lives. And this is how I knew that these people are going to be involved with this project. And hmm. the story was lovely. And we got to collaborate it, uh, collaborate together with it. And uh, from right from the start. So, I mean, why wouldn't we want to say yes and do this? And plus it was such a, I genuinely enjoyed the first time around. And hmm. surprise. We're still doing the Zoom Zoom thing even now. So we are, I think, surprisingly still uh, relevant, which is sad and uh, awesome. <laughs> so all of you, to all of you, you know, even the question is to Nupur, you know, because you have directed this and even to Shreya and Priyanshu, how difficult was it to shoot for this one? Because there are so many restrictions, you know, there right now for the industry people a lot when it comes to shooting and all with regards to the COVID situation. You know, Sabina, when uh, uh, I was asked to kind of collaborate on this, I knew that there were restrictions because we were in the middle of the pandemic. The second wave had just kind of peaked and gotten over and all of that. And, you know, it was quite scary. So I deliberately wrote a story about two people in one house. <laughs> so I would be able to restrict the number of crew and cast and not expose all of us, you know, huh. uh, to sort of dangerous situations. So, yeah, so it was pretty, uh, uh, for me, it was the first time that I was shooting in the pandemic, you know, Priyanchu had already shot Rashmi Rocket and uh, Shreya had also already, for me, it was, a, it was quite scary. So therefore I, you know, I deliberately chose to write a story about this couple in one house. What about you, Shreya? Like how difficult was, was it for you to actually be a part of this? while the pandemic is on and of course a lot of restrictions and you know trying to also show your expressions in such a way because you know it's not there's something going in your head you know behind your head and like you're you know when you're in character it's completely different altogether i just want to jump in here and say that i think it's the most difficult for actors because they have to be without masks like i can sometimes once in a while go to a window take off my mask take in like five gulps of air and come back Mm -hmm. uh, but these guys are just without masks, you know, surrounded by people. And, you know, I mean, uh, kudos to them, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad uh, Nupur said what she said because I was about to just give a shameless answer. <laughs> 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 no, because I, I can speak for Priyaju and I when I say this. Uh, we were very happy that we were getting to be a part of this, genuinely. Because mm -hmm. all the tension that one is supposed to have on set was being taken by man. Nupur yeah. was taking all the tension of all <laughs> masks, not being masked, about the pandemic. Priyanch and I were just there to play. <laughs> yeah. Didn't feel like, actually for me, uh, what, I, I would agree with Shreya because also it was, as she, you know, Nupur said, it was just being shot in one house. I didn't mm. feel like I'm really shooting. We're just chilling in our boxes, t-shirt, <laughs> just doing our scenes. <laughs> And trusting everybody and we were, of course, trusting the production, Pink Window and everybody that everybody is, of course, we were all vaccinated and kind of, you know, uh, taking care of the precautions and everything. But tab tab also, at least for me, I can say that I had already shot since last November for two films and one full-fledged series. Yeah. So by the time I came up to this, I was used to it. Like the whole week we used to get getting tested and RT-PCRs have been doing rounds. So, but I think the idea, the main thing is just trusting each other, just keep taking care of the precautions. Being shot in the house, it was still... Everybody taking the tension for us, we could chill. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What has been the most frustrating thing for all three during this pandemic, you know, while being at home and being with family or being with loved ones around you? The most frustrating thing which you have felt like, oh my God, why? Cringeworthy kind of a thing. Just the news outside, yeah, because being yeah. inside privilege that we get to be inside and 
have opinions and comments on things that are happening. The most frustrating thing that was, I mean, the reality was far removed from what we were privileged enough to be away from. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just not being able to do enough for people who are suffering. I mean, I think that was very frustrating and very sad in a sense. I mean, like Shreya says, we were privileged, right? We had a home over, we have a roof over our heads. We can eat, we can, you know, video call everybody. We can be with family, couple of friends, perhaps, you know, when things were easier. I mean, but for a lot of people, it was really hard, very hard. What about you? Uh, I, I uh, agreeing to both of these guys and also then understanding that how everyone, you know, uh, work-wise also, I think the way, not just our industry, I remember then meeting people from hotel industry and understanding what they went through, uh, education industry, uh, everything, everybody. I mean, not just, I'm not talking of the big industries. If you're looking at a uni sole owner of a business, small people, uh, owners, and you know, big owners, everybody was getting so badly affected that that kind of hit me later after actually very frankly, after the lockdown got over. During the lockdown, we were still exploring ourselves. We were still trying to, you know, we were going with the flow. Mm -hmm. But after the lockdown was over, then when people were asked to start their work again, then everybody was shaken. Everybody didn't, people didn't know where to start from. Yes, somewhere it was like, you know, you were in this, you know, bio bubble kind of a thing, or you were in that, you know, bubble that you don't, you are in a lethargic mood, I would say rather, you know, there is this comfort in a way. And then suddenly you start like, you know, the things yeah. come on and then again, it stops. So that does affect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, Meena. Bye. 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 Bye.